Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. It's time for the deep dive, and we're going to steer clear of Collingwood and Essendon in this deep dive because it's been done to death over the weekend. We're going to go to St Kilda v Adelaide, would have played this weekend. It's the greatest finals performance I've ever seen, and that's from Ooh. Darren Jarman. I want to yes. show some vision of Darren Jarman. He's kicked five goals <laughs> in the last quarter to get his team home. This was to these skills. Look at that. I think he's the most skillful player yeah. to have ever played the game, to be honest. And I just will never forget this performance and how he performed. Just watch some of these goals. Pulls in your hand sometimes, it does, doesn't it? It does. Poor Jamie Shanahan. Yeah. He's had nightmares ever since this day. But uh, you see this, even this goal. Look at that. One. <laughs> Can't teach that. That is pure instinct. Yeah, he was good. But he was a beautiful kick. He was, Bill. Through the midfield and all that, but then also a goal. But mine, yeah. without doubt, the 1989 final series. Gary Ablett Senior kicked 27 goals. Yeah. Still a record in four games. This is the grand final. He had a very good decoy that day, by the way. <laughs> but he kicks nine goals, of course. He wins the Norm Smith medal. The Cats don't win. But look at this. You can't yeah. teach that. No. You cannot teach that. That was magnificent. He was on fire. 27 goals for the series in, in four games. But... Bill, he was never a premiership player. Did you just rely on him too much? Yes. Yeah. When you look back, there's no doubt about that. You did. But just when yeah. he's doing stuff like that, Couchy and Bearstow yeah. and these folks, they'd look up and they'd just yeah. look at Ablett and you'd kick it to him because he moves and you know he's going to get it. But we probably did, yeah. Brent, a name. Come on, yeah, I think, I think the story of yeah. Mason Cox and his performance yeah. in 2018 in that prelim final, eight contested marks, just from came from nowhere. I don't think he'll ever do that again. And the MCG that night in front of 90-odd thousand was, mm. was crazy. Adlet's obvious, Lord. I, I, I haven't seen a better game individually in a final series, but back in the early 80s, TJ, Wayne Johnston, the dominator yeah. of Carlton, 81-82, yeah. there, there was no better finals player in the history yeah. of the game. Well, than except there. about 15 of his yeah. teammates. Yeah, yeah but, but he, he stood up in the finals. And he'd yeah. tell you about it too at the mm. minute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's a good fellow, Wayne Johnston. No, but he, he knows how good he plays. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Have you listened to yourself every now and again, Bill? <laughs> oh, Kane, yep. A, um, I would say uh, for sheer inspiration, courage, determination, etc. Darren Mullane mm. in the 1990 mm. Grand Finals, mm. yep. the final right. series with the broken thumb. Well, yep. you did talk about Darren Jarman then, and uh, it was only the week before that that we were 22 points up in the prelim, and he kicked four in the last quarter yeah. to beat us to go into that Grand Final, then kicked the five. So I think that was very really good. But uh, I guess for just a, a team orientated thing, I thought Trent Cotchin's captaincy in their first premiership a couple of years back was outstanding as well. Brent, what about so, you, Lord Owen? You can't say yourself. Uh, no, I just think that one Jarman for me. Jarman. Uh, just Fremantle and Geelong. Well, they were meant to play this Ooh. week and this is where the, the little bit of violence comes in, TJ. I'll never forget this moment where yeah. Scarlett's had enough and he's probably thought everyone's wanted to do this. I'll take one for oh. the team <laughs> and I will drop one on little Hayden Valentine there. So we'll see it one more time. Yeah. He should he he should have got that. to And a lot it. of people sitting back at home said, you know what, I've wanted to do that to you for a long, long time. We don't, we don't condone violence, but we've all wanted to at least want to snot someone in the industry. Mm. <laughs> in the industry. It could be oh, media or you know, player you're playing yes. against. I'll put my hand up. And there was a period of time where Andrew Mackey was sledging me that much that it was time to go to the retirement village, time to yeah. retire. Geez, I would have loved to have done that to Mackie. So anyway, one for you. Uh, yeah, just one. Um, there's just a few one. that want to punch me, I reckon, <laughs> Lordo, but um, Jordan Lewis was a player that I always... ..in the word of mine and giving one to. Oh, that's a good one. Don't you I've got a list longer than Kane who want to get me, Lordo, so I might stay out of this one. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I can't what, what if someone tied Beveridge's arms and legs yeah. and said, you can put one on I'd him? Still, I'd uh, still back <laughs> I, I still wouldn't be confident enough to go with that, Lordo. So, no, we'll leave him off. Uh, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit like Damo. I, I, no, I don't really want to say anyone. All right. Oh. Because we're, has anyone He's seen Jack Rebolt yet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Brad Marilla rode this horse last week, oh. Nirvana, and it was oh. one of the worst rides of his own. But Stevie Baker always used to belt me on the bottom of the pack oh. behind the plate, and I never had the guts out there because he was a tough little <laughs> bugger, Stevie Baker. So I wouldn't mind just landing one on Stevie uh, Baker. And Bill? Uh, Rick Kennedy, who played for <laughs> yeah. Footscray, big tough fullback. I was only a kid. And he used to pel he used to punch me for fun. Trent Cotchin's father-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if he walked in now, Rick, I'd go bang. <laughs> I'd land one on his chin. <laughs> and, and the last one, the tanking. The tanking was massive. We'll never forget when Jordan McMahon kicked this goal. Brownie, you were part of this day. It was yep. Richmond v Melbourne. 
And uh, Richmond celebrated like they won a grand final, but uh, we did. did they know that geez, what, some of those moves on that day, Brownie? Well, I was playing people. full forward in the last quarter and come up against Paul Johnson, who was their ruckman. He was resting <laughs> at full back up against me, so uh, I kicked the goal. But this is a good kick from Jordan McMahon after the siren, and we did celebrate like we won it. And then Jade Rawlings, who was a caretaker coach, came in and said, "You blokes are kidding yourselves. <laughs> you just won a game that the other side wanted to lose." Haven't yeah. times changed for Richmond? Yeah, oh, amazing. <laughs> uh, TJ. Big ass was going to be Buckley v. Heard being Anzac Day, but we've ran out of time. So, anyway, oh. we'll oh. move on. So, just a quick name. Buckley. 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 Heard. Heard. Mm. Mm. Anyway, mm. so obviously that's one, a massive grunt for the poll. Their stats are unbelievable, similarly. So, uh, you have lifted this show like well, a